Hi there, um, I hope you're looking forward to using your Naughty Boy platforms. Um, I just wanted really just to run a, a few bits and pieces uh, just on how to use the products, um, inflation, the, uh, the actual equipment, the pumps themselves, the operation of the pump. Uh, and then we're going to inflate one and then we're going to do some sort of, we're going to run around all the features and the benefits uh, and then we're going to do some connection of two platforms together. So it's, uh, it's connected to the mains, electricity, um, and then you can see on the pump itself you've got two buttons. The orange one is the on-off. The red is actually the turbo boost. Um, and what we do is uh, we, we start off with the orange button and once the platform's got shape and form, then what we do is we hit the red button as well. Um, and that gives it to, to, takes it to up to a higher pressure of about sort of five, five and a half PSI. Uh, we've got the hose and then the nozzle. And on the pump itself, you've got out and in. The out is for the inflation and in is for deflation. So what I'm going to do here is just put the hose and screw it in for the inflation and then we'll inflate. So you can see uh, the platform's come in a bag. I've taken it out of the bag and they come rolled up in a, a nice compact sausage uh, shape. And what I'll do is I'll inflate. So I'm just literally going to expose the inflation valve, which is this one here. Uh, this is the pressure release valve. I'm just going to take off the lid and then what you've got is you've got a white button now if the button is out that's a one-way valve so i can put air in but it won't escape if i press that that would release the air so what i'm going to do before i inflate is just have the button up and then we've got the halky roberts fitting i'm going to stick it in and twist it clockwise and it locks into place we're ready to inflate so orange button off we go It'll take, this one will take about three and a half minutes been a while Okay, if you look now, the platform's now got its shape. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the, uh, the turbo button. And you'll hear the pitch rise. Now, you can't over-inflate these. If you look on the platform, as I mentioned before, you've got a pressure release valve at 5.5 PSI. Roughly when it's ready, if you can hold on to the pipe and it'll start to get warm, it'll start to get quite hot. Um, it's starting to get pretty warm, you can feel it's starting to get nice and stiff now. the Halky Roberts and then always ensure to put the cap back on now this platform I'd say it's it's probably at about four and a half five psi okay we can put extra air in uh, with the manual pump which I'll show you right now so uh, with every platform you get an electric pump which, which you've seen and also you get a manual stirrup pump okay so the inflation section is here you've got the hose and again it's just attaching on and there we go and you've actually got a pressure gauge so you can see sort of what pressure we're at and again, it's very similar. And there we go. And then if I want to put extra air in, it's double action. give it that final bit of stiffness okay um, I just want to explain about this piece um, every platform comes with one of these it's called an air toggle all right it's got several purposes um, it provides a second chamber for safety and I'll show you how now because what we've got if you see uh, on all four sides of these platforms you've got these loops which when you want to use them you come out on velcro 
and they pop out. And then what we can do, very simply, is I'm just going to feed this tube through all three. So it's central. And then with the manual pump, I'll get it inflated. It's exactly the same valve. So again, pop out the button. I'll just inflate and then this is very quick and easy. So again, it's a second chamber for safety, but this device is also the way that we connect platforms. And I'm gonna run that through uh, in just a while. I just wanna explain a few other features. Um, on inset on the top, you have four D-rings. These are extra reinforced with Kevlar. So they're super strong, uh, designed to take the loads of jet skis um, and water sports toys. You've got the orange bags here. Now, without these, this whole piece on the water would be incredibly unstable would sort of uh, drift around very quickly, it could flip over, and it'd be very difficult to walk on in all honesty. Um, so they're called ballast bags, they're 40 lit litres or 10 gallons each. Um, and when the platform comes as new, they'll be in this position, which is empty. Before we put it, uh, deploy into water, we literally just release each one. And that's now ready to go. And what will happen when we put the platform into the water, in about 30 seconds, these will fill up with the, with the sea water and they provide incredible stability. They make the whole platform very solid in the water uh, and they stop it again tipping, shaking and wobbling uh, and give you a really solid structure uh, to sort of carry out any water sports or your beach club or yacht extension. I just want to show you on the underside of the platform, on the opposite end to the inflation valves, you've got a reinforced strop here, um, which is ideal for anchoring, attaching to a mooring buoy, or with the ballast bags up, you can gently tow the platforms. It's Dynamo Spectra loops. Right. I, I just wanted to run you through um, the system of connecting the platforms together. So in this scenario, you can see uh, I'm making out of two platforms, I want to make a T-shape so I can then create myself a nice jet ski dog. Jet ski either side there, uh, absolutely perfect. Okay, so you can see here, I've got three air toggle loops on the side of this platform. I've got two on this end. Now it does flip on that side. I've also got two, and on that end, I've also got three. So you can, you can sort of play and match, but this scenario, um, and what you always want to do is to make sure that you've got three on one platform, on two, on one other. Okay, we want five air toggles, ideally, for a connection. So what I'm gonna do is open up the air toggle loops from both platforms. Okay, and you can see now how they overlap. And then what I'm gonna do, I've got my air toggle here, and it's actually much easier when you're on the platform and you're feeding it through when it's wet. It's, uh, it sort of slips through very nicely. But I'm gonna feed through the first one. The second one. The fourth one. And the last one there. Pulling it all through. I'm just making sure that the loops aren't twisted. Okay, now it's all in position. I'm just simply going to inflate it. Simple.
So the, the, the configurations you can make are, are endless. You can join two platforms end to end, side to side, in an L shape or in a T shape. It really depends on what sort of activities you're, you're doing for the day. And you can mix it up. You can make the transom uh, a, a completely different space every day that you, you sort of want to. I just want to introduce you very quickly to the Sea Dock, which is designed for as a docking station for uh, the very popular Sea Bobs and also the electric boards that are on the market now, the e lifts, uh, the e fans, there's all sorts of stuff, the awakes, and they all fit fantastically into this dock. Um, again, you've got the ballast bag on the, the back side, uh, you've got uh, an anchor loop, and on the top, you've got a nice strengthy D ring so you can stream off the back of the yacht. On either side as well, you've got the air toggle loops. And these are the straps that fit uh, through the handles of the sea bobs and the, uh, the, all the um, electric boards. Nice and easy. Couldn't be easier. So again, you see we've got the three air toggle loops here. You've got the one here. So just undo the air toggle loops. And then all I need to do is pass the air toggle through all the loops. Again, inflate and you've got the connection. And these can be, your sea docks can be positioned anywhere around the platform. Uh, another of the pieces that we've designed uh, are called the elbow joints. Um, they're 80 centimeters in height and it's the same, all the same diameters as the uh, air toggles. So what you can do is, uh, let's say uh, your transom is a bit raised or you want to keep the whole structure just slightly away from the boat. Again, you pass them through the air toggle loops, inflate and what you've got is a fantastic structure. Again, one either side here and it'll just stop everything from sort of bouncing on the boat. You can offset them for any curves of the yacht. Um, and what you can also do is we've had several clients, they only want one platform because of the space being an issue on the yacht, but they want a jet ski dock and they want to prevent the, the jet skis from uh, sort of moving forward and touching the transom. So what they do is on a Voyager platform, they'll have the elbows on either side, but flat to the water. And again, you've got a, 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 a sort of a buffer, a fender that'll stop the jet skis from moving forward. What I'd like to do now is just show you the uh, installation of the ladder, which is really simple. Again, it does use the air toggle loops. They act as a third and fourth uh, load point. So what we do is we stick the arms of the ladders through these, open up the locks, and then just importantly, these hinges need to be running fore and aft. I'm going to slot that in there. Slot that in there. Clip, clip. And bang, there you go, you've got a lovely boarding ladder to make the, uh, the exit and entry into the water graceful. Um, and just before we uh, deflate the platforms uh, and retrieve them from the water, again, it's really important just to empty the ballast bags, otherwise you're lifting a, a lot of water. And it's really simple, pull the strap up onto the Velcro, bag empties, you're free to pull it out. Um, what we're going to do now is we'll deflate the platform. Um, so we're going to take it from the, the air hose from the inflation mode to the deflation mode so we just unscrew and you'll see it says in here twist that in and bang okay that's ready to deflate now I come to the valve reopen up and then all I'm going to do is press the white button in and then again the same as before I insert twist and then I'm just going to fire up the pumps again. 